Thursday, November 19, 2020, the Ministry of Health received confirmation of 20 new cases of COVID-19. This brings the total number of cases diagnosed in country to date to 203. Ten of the cases are non-nationals. Two of these cases are visitors to St. Lucia. Case number 186 is a 28-year-old female visitor and case number 190 is a 29-year-old male visitor. Both of these individuals arrived in St. Lucia on Monday, November 16, 2020. On arrival, they went through the established screening processes and based on the fact that they did not have the approved test, they were required to undergo COVID-19 testing in country. They proceeded to a COVID-19 approved accommodation where they were placed in quarantine pending their results. The individuals are now being placed in isolation. The Ministry of Health has commenced contact tracing as per protocol. On Sunday, November 15, 2020, a cargo ship arrived into St. Lucia carrying 11 crew members. After reports of respiratory illness among some of the crew members, they were all assessed and tested for COVID-19 and were placed in quarantine on the vessel. The Ministry of Health received confirmation that eight of the crew members have tested positive for COVID-19. These are cases number 185, number 187, number 188, number 189, number 192, number 195, number 197, and number 202. These individuals are currently in isolation and receiving care. Out of the 20 cases of COVID-19 reported, 10 of them are St. Lucia nationals. After being assessed and tested for COVID-19, they were placed in quarantine while awaiting their results. Five of these cases were identified through the contact tracing process and an epidemiological link has been established for these five cases. Investigations are ongoing to determine the existence of any additional epidemiological links associated with these cases. As per protocol, arrangements have been made to place these individuals into care. Case number 184 is an 18-year-old female from the Castries district. Case number 191 is a 32-year-old female from the Castries district. Case number 193 is a 48-year-old male from the Castries district. Case number 194 is a 47-year-old male from the Groselle district. Case number 196 is a 20-year-old male from the Castries district. Case number 198 is a 50-year-old female from the Miku district. Case number 199 is a 34-year-old female from the Groselet district. Case number 200 is a 47-year-old female from the Groselet district. Case number 201 is an 18-year-old female from the Castries district. Case number 203 is a 27-year-old female from the Babano district. All of these individuals, after being assessed and tested for COVID-19, were placed in quarantine by healthcare practitioners. Meantime, Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belmar George has called for an end to discrimination and stigmatization of persons diagnosed with the virus. Over the past three weeks, a number of individuals in care have recovered and been discharged from care. It is important that families, communities, workplaces and the wider society help in creating a supportive environment which will reduce the fear or concerns of individuals who are returning to their daily routines after recovery. An individual who has been diagnosed with COVID-19 needs the comfort of familiar faces and places to help in their reintegration as this helps with their emotional and mental well-being. As such, the Ministry of Health and Wellness makes an appeal to everyone to be compassionate and avoid stigma towards individuals who have been diagnosed with COVID-19. Let us continue to practice the infection prevention and control guidelines that will help to reduce the exposure to the virus. Wash and sanitize your hands often during the day. Ensure a mask is always used when in public and ensure it covers both your mouth and your nose. Sanitize frequently touched surfaces, often using a bleach solution, and maintain the separation of six feet from others, which is about two arms length. If experiencing flu-like symptoms, keep away from others and seek medical care immediately at the closest respiratory clinic. 
also avoid contact with others who may have flu-like symptoms.